Here are a few tips on how to get it right with respect to tripen blue staining. A small air bubble will decrease the amount of tripen blue required. Not priming the cannula, injecting the tripen blue will deliver the correct quantity of air. Remember only few drops of tripen blue are required. I call this the tripen blue air trap. Under the right amount of air, a few drops of tripen blue is injected. You can see that the air rides over the tripen blue and acts as a trap. This will stain the capsule beautifully. This air trap technique works well only in eyes which are of normal depth or deep and, and if there is no positive pressure. You can see the air trap technique again. A few drops instilled underneath the right amount of air. Now this right amount of air is delivered like I told you by not priming the air cannula that is used. You can let this tripen blue remain till the incision is constructed as it will not touch the endothelium and will have no deleterious effects. In some cases the air trap technique will not work because the anterior chamber is shallow and because there is positive pressure. The air bubble is also large and is contacting the anterior capsule of the lens which means that there will be a part of the anterior capsule that is devoid of stain. In order to spread the tripen blue evenly over the anterior capsule, put a blob of viscoelastic on the cornea and gently press with the cannula. This causes the air bubble to break up and disperse and by moving it from side to side it's possible to get a good even stain of the anterior capsule without having the stain free patch. And that's how you get it right when you use stripe and blue.